Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today. Hope that you will take time to share this out on your social media platform so that others can hear about what's taking place in our world in light of Bible prophecy. That's what Prophecy Files Briefing is all about. And I just want to share with you quickly today from this article, Prophetic Chess Pieces. Israel and Syria are now toe-to-toe -to -toe, and the United States is preparing to recognize the Palestinian state. Ladies and gentlemen, it is important for you to realize that what's been happening over the past few days of bombings that have been happening in Iraq, uh, the bombings that have been coming from the Houthis in Yemen on United States ships and others, and uh, what Israel has been doing on the northern border in Lebanon and Syria. I've stood on the Golan Heights. I've seen how close the proximity is and how important that the Golan is to the security of the nation of Israel. And prophetically speaking from the Word of God, Syria is going to play an integral part in these last days uh, for the setup of the Antichrist to rise in power. And we're watching the very uh, subject that the Antichrist will use to bring about a peace plan that will come as a covenant of seven years as described in the Word of God. In this article, the Assad regime and the Syrian army um, are avowed allies of the Iranian regime. In fact, Iran is in Syria, Russia is in Syria, and all of these individual players make up part and parcel of the group that is going to come, as described in the book of Ezekiel, in a war of the war of Gog and Magog, Ezekiel 38 and 39. This article goes on to say that it really ignores what's happening in our world. They're ignoring the Israel and Syrian uh, conflict that's going to go head to head and toe to toe, as this article says. From Isaiah 17, many times people will mention Isaiah 17 and Damascus and Syria uh, as the capital, but Isaiah 17 lays out uh, the day that is coming to the city of Damascus, Syria, that is going to be, uh, the, according to Isaiah 17 and 1, making that city a ruinous heap, which is really an introduction into that time period, I believe, uh, called the Great Tribulation period. Now, what is happening to help set this up? In this article, in the very crux of this article, is the fact that the United States is now agreeing with Europe and let me read it directly from the article. The EU foreign policy chief, uh, Joseph Borrell, went even further a, a few weeks ago saying that the international community may need to impose a Palestinian state upon Israel whether they like it or not. So as previously stated uh, in this particular article, the Biden administration is also throwing its hat in the ring and Mr. Blinken is now considering what is going to happen after this Gaza war is over with. And according to the reports for this particular region, uh, they're saying that we, this is the quote from this article, we, the United States and Europe, are simply recognizing perhaps, uh, as they're saying, getting together a Palestinian state, whether they like it or not, and uh, they will take the sovereign control over Israel's land as well as part of this deal. Well, my friends, according to the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, this is what the Bible said. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut to pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered against it. The Bible further tells us that those that would attempt to divide the land of Israel, God said He would divide them. Is America going to get involved in this? Will America be divided? You can see the division that's happening now, and could it be even worse in the days that are ahead? The Bible is very clear. When you touch the apple of God's eye, the people of Israel, the nation of Israel, the land of Israel, uh, you're touching his, his, the, very, the very intricate part of God. And those people, the, the Jewish people, are God's chosen people. That is His chosen land. And from the book of Genesis all the way back to Abraham, God, who already owned the land, is the one who gave it to Abraham and to his descendants. That's prophetic, and you should keep your eye on what's taking place there for the days that are ahead. I hope that you've enjoyed today's briefing, 
And if you have, why don't you share it out on your social media and let others be invited to be a part so that they can hear what is really, arguably, one of the messages that's not being preached from behind most pulpit, the imminent return of Jesus Christ. I believe the Bible, and the Bible says He is about to return. I want to encourage you to keep looking towards the heavens and stay tuned right here on Prophecy File Briefing for more in the weeks to come. Till then, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.